Hey, what's going on? Dylan Tooby and Soccer Essentials here. In this video, I wanted to talk to you about how to be aggressive in football. So a lot of players have a problem with being aggressive or getting themselves to be aggressive on the field. Now, what I want you to realize is that is not a skill set, it is a mentality. So if you want to be more aggressive on the field, you have to change your mental, the way you're thinking to yourself, the way you're talking to yourself. You have to change that first before you can get the on-field effect. First, I would recommend you ask yourself, why am I not aggressive? If you can rationalize that to yourself, it's going to be a lot easier to switch that in your mind. So a lot of the times players are naturally, they're timid, they're quiet, they're kind of shy. And these are usually the players that are also not so aggressive. They're very timid on the field. They don't get stuck into tackles. They don't get involved in the play as much as they should and as much as they would like to. After you understand why you were being timid, why you're not being aggressive, and a lot of the times you can't even rationalize it to yourself, you don't know why. But that is not a bad thing, that's a good thing. That means that there's no reason that you can't be aggressive. You just have to switch it in your mind, tell yourself you're going to be aggressive, you're going to do whatever it takes, you're going to work extremely hard, you're going to get involved in the play as much as possible. So if you can shift that, if you can commit to that in your mind, that is the first and most important step. Basically, being aggressive on the field is pressuring your opponents as quickly as possible, it's battling for headers, it's getting involved in tackles, it's getting involved in the play as much as possible, getting on the ball as much as possible, playing quickly, playing with a lot of passion and urgency, playing with a lot of communication, just being really vocal, involved, and an impact player on the field. I want you to start thinking about this first when you are defending. So in a game situation, do not give the player time to play. Don't lay off them trying to jockey, that sort of thing. What I want you to do is get in there right away, pressure them. To start, I do not care, and you shouldn't care either if you get beat. You're trying to install a mentality in your head. So if you can learn to pressure as quickly as possible, make a tackle, force them to make an error, force them into a dangerous space, you're gonna be a lot more productive than just sitting off, giving them a few yards, making them play. So don't worry about getting beat so much, just worry about pressuring quickly, getting on them right away, and a lot of the times you will force them into an error, they will cough up the ball, you'll be able to win a tackle simply because you are giving them no time on the ball. You have to be brave. When you're going for headers, when you're going into tackles, if you are timid, if you are thinking about losing out, getting injured, getting beat, then you will do exactly that. If you are brave though and you are willing to go for every ball, and again, in the beginning, I don't care if you get every ball, if you win every header, or if you win every tackle. That is not the main priority right now. What the main priority is, is that you are battling, you are going in, and you are being aggressive, you are putting your body on the line, and you're doing what it takes to win the ball. When you are on the ball, can you play quickly? Aggressive is also can be a mentality on the ball. So when I'm on the ball, I don't want to waste time. I don't want to be unproductive. I don't want to go backwards when I can go forwards. I don't want to go slow when I can go fast. So whenever you're on the ball, you're trying to play as quickly as possible. Now that usually comes down to two touch football, receive into space, pass to a teammate, move into new space, call for the ball, get it back and keep advancing up the field like that. But if you are in a slow mind state, you receive the ball, you don't know what you're going to do with it before it comes to you, you take four, five, six touches on the ball before you make a pass, you turn and go backwards, play to your defenders when you could have played forward, these are all problems. So before you get the ball, you have to know where you're going. Where you want to go is the most dangerous spot. So if you have a teammate in a dangerous place, you want to get the ball, play them the ball quickly. If you have open space, dangerous space that you can attack by dribbling, you want to get the ball, go into that space right away. But the key here is urgency. Everything needs to be done with urgency. Now, I don't want you to think you have to force the play. Number one priority is keeping possession. So if the pass isn't on, if you can't dribble into that space, keep the ball. It's okay to go backwards, keep the ball. But we're still doing everything quickly. The ball never stops moving. I hope you got something valuable out of this video and just realize that being aggressive is a mentality. So just get in there, just get involved in the action. Don't worry about getting beat. 
Don't worry about losing out on tackles. Don't worry about losing out on headers. All of that will come in time. What you have to get in the habit of is being involved in every play. So don't sit off. Don't be shy. Don't be timid. Get in there. Make your tackles. Battle for headers. Pressure quickly on defense. Play quickly. Play with urgency when you're on the ball. If you're really serious about becoming a better player, pick up Mental Mastery and Soccer Success Secrets. Those links are in the description box below. Pick up the free training guide if you are new to this. It's going to help you become a better player. I guarantee you that. Please come back tomorrow. I'm going to do a new video. Let's keep improving. Let's keep learning. Let's keep becoming better. You have the potential in you to be so great. It's just about finding that and improving yourself every single day. If you can commit to doing that, then anything you want to achieve is possible. It's just about how much work you put in. We'll see you next time.